uh, hi all so this is vijay raj here uh, along with my teammates neil and vinay and uh, today we will be uh, presenting uh, our capstone project uh, based on holist marketing and retail analytics so uh, first we will be starting with the agenda um, so we have uh, defined the objectives uh, the background for this project visualizations uh, insights then the recommendations and uh, lastly we will be covering the appendix part uh, with the data subjectives so um, our ob uh, project objectives uh, were strategically defined uh, first we uh, identify the top products uh, which are you know contributing to the revenue and uh, leading project category using the pareto analysis then we uh, improved our understanding uh, using the market basket analysis um, to analyze the uh, purchase behavior of the customers then uh, finally uh, we had to you know understand and determine which are the uh, items which are uh, likely to be purchased by the uh, customers either individually or in combination uh moving to the background so uh, o list uh, an e-commerce company has faced financial challenges so they have entrusted us with you know optimizing their inventory uh, levels uh moving on to a uh, few visualizations and uh, uh, um observations we have been able to make so firstly starting with top 20 uh, you know order products by quantity and uh, here uh, we can see that the highest you know product Uh, ordered uh, with 467 orders belongs to the toys category, and uh, even in the top 20 ordered products, uh, most of them uh, you know belong to the toys category itself. Moving on, uh, you know uh, top products ordered uh, uh, based on the revenue. The highest revenue generation that is approximately uh, 63 to 64 thousand US dollars uh, that belongs to again the toys category. uh again here uh, as observed previously most of the you know top 20 ordered products by revenue uh, belongs to the toys category uh with regards to a uh, percent running total uh, we have done this you know based uh, the, the breakdown here has been done based on the uh, product id uh, this percentage running totals you know helps provide valuable insights into the contribution of uh, each product moving on to the pareto analysis uh, so uh first starting with the revenue pareto uh so here uh, toys health beauty and uh, you know watches gift you know combine greater than uh, 75% of our revenue and uh, toys alone is generating 76% uh the rest of the you know uh, 70 plus product category are about generating 19% of the revenue uh moving on to the uh, quantity pareto um, as we have seen previously again uh, you know toys health beauty and bed bath so they are contributing around 80% of the total orders and uh, toys alone is constituting approximately 76% uh, the remain, remaining category is generating uh, 19.62 percentage uh moving on to you know product category wise uh, which has been ordered more than 5 times so toys is leading with approximately 75000 orders and then health beauty uh, bed bath table and sports leisure are the next most uh, ordered categories uh, snail uh, next slides up to you uh hi i'm snail tiwari and i'll guide you through our market basket analysis and some insight from visualization so we see here that we have identified frequently ordered category associations and the toys are the most often ordered along with bed bath table furniture decor computer accessories and health beauty next we have insights so from our analysis we have drawn key insights the the first insight is the category toys constitute 20% of the products which generates 80% of the revenue also it can be seen that even if the price of certain product is high they are still bought by the customer more often another uh, inference we got was apart from toys the products from the categories of bed bath table furniture decor computer accessories and health beauty are the most frequently ordered and the above categories either individually or in combination with toys are most frequent in customers market basket it is observed that despite the high price some products are frequently purchased by the customers next we have recommendations so based on these insights uh, here are here are our recommendations 
First, the key should focus on the company should focus on maintaining inventory for categories generating more than 80% of the revenue by always keeping them in stock. Secondly, the company should target customers who are more likely to buy toys to boost sales as the category toys is the most ordered category. Third, offer promo codes or discounts on the frequently ordered category associations to encourage cross-selling among the products. And last, the company can reduce some of the subcategories with less with very low sales to optimize inventory management. Next, Vinay. Yeah, hi, I'm Vinay Patil. Uh, I'll provide insights into our data sources. Uh, here's an overview of our data dictionary, which includes key information categories like uh, order details, order item details, uh, custom details, payment details, and product details. Uh, we sourced our data from the Olis Retail data set, which provides comprehensive information related to the orders. Uh, this data set covers uh, the period from 2016 to 2018, allowing us to conduct through analysis of historical data and draw meaningful insights. So going to the next slide, data dictionary. Uh, within the data dictionary, uh, you will find key information categories that form the foundation of our analysis. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, yes, so uh, the data methodology uh, is uh, our data analysis process was uh, uh, comprehensive, uh, like cleaning and transforming the data set using Python libraries uh, in the Jupyter Notebook, uh, replacing missing values with suitable alternatives, uh, removing the redundant and duplicate records, retaining only the first occurrences. Conducting uh, exploratory data, data analysis using Python libraries like uh, Matplotlib and Seabor, uh, creating new data sets for market basket analysis, focusing on order ID and product category name, uh, and also performing various visualizations and market basket analysis using in Tableau. Uh, the data assumptions uh, in the next slide, uh, uh, we want to highlight the data assumptions we made during this project. Uh, only the cases having order status as delivered were are considered. We assumed that the data provided was achieving the desired revenue. Uh, we assumed that the company does not want to expand to new warehouses. The company strategies and are decided considering there is a constant growth sales. Uh, so uh, lastly, the conclusions. Uh, in conclusion, our analysis of uh, the OLIS marketing and uh, data analytics uh, has provided valuable insights into product performance, customer behavior, and revenue generation. Thank you.